we finally reached Bradford after a bit of traffic and, well, welcome to Acorn Design. After all started with the alloy wheel, how did that whole concept come about for him and how did the company start off? Well, to be fair, the, the whole company is exactly what Afsal has always believed in. Um, attention to detail, investing in everything that's British. And what's good about the British was the attention to detail, the pride in what you produced, so that when you gave a product out into the marketplace, it was a piece of you. It represented what you'd done and the workmanship that's gone into it. Mm -hmm. If you look at the alloy wheel, that's actually, uh, interestingly, it is the first alloy wheel that he designed. And that's the, the first RSI. one that went right to the edge of the rim. Right, right to the edge of the rim, and then, which is actually emulating every other one of the rims that you see. Yeah. But then it is, that's the RSR, the very first wheel that um, he produced. And it's still one of the best selling wheels that we have. From alloy wheels, you then moved into full car customization. How did yes, that course. come about? Was there just one client that said, we want actually the whole works? I think what, what tends to happen is that you, you kind of start with one product, something that's been in his mind and, and he kind of puts it down on paper and then he goes into a design stage and goes into a prototype and then it comes out as a finished product. It's fair to say that the, um, the body kits will be exactly the same way. None of the cars that we put body kits and styling kits on ever change the corporate identity. He actually plays on the style lines by the manufacturers okay. to give the car a more aggressive, stable and confident look on the road. But as you can see with the Q7, I mean, these arches exist on the car. Yeah. All we've done is put our wide arches over the top. And just flare them out a little bit. Flare them out. The, the, the deal with the customers is that the designer has final say. It's like if you go into a Giorgio Armani Couture yeah. and you want a suit made by Giorgio Armani, yes, of course, they have certain designs that you can pick off the shelf, pick off the peg and, and, and wear. But actually, you know what? Um, if, if you want a, a special design that actually isn't on, 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 on the peg, then you tell them what you want and they, they make it for you. That's the whole idea of a, of a bespoke design and that's what we do with the car. The Bugattis, that's one car which I think you've said you just don't touch because you can't perfect perfection. You can't, you can't improve on perfection, can you? No. I was going to say, I mean, they, they look bigger here than in actually that you think they do in magazines. Sure, sure. So I can imagine... The only way to, to make them better is put the F1 plate on one. That tends to help, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Really, the most prominent feature of this car is the beautiful Monza wheels that's on it. And how, how many inches are those wheels? Uh, 22. 22 inch, okay. 22 and 21. And the engine mods, that's something that you don't tend to touch? We don't. We have a facility too, we can do. Okay. We work very closely with Cosworth. Mm -hmm. We've gone through a two year development program with them, um, testing out various engines. And so they are, we are capable of offering a facility and it's not an issue. The one thing that we always say to customers is the moment you, you do want engine modification on your car, your manufacturer warranty is compromised. Yeah. Yes, we are a global brand. We're no longer a best kept secret in West Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. We sell everywhere. It's a culmination of 20 odd years of hard work and heart and soul that Khan's put into this business. So Paul, tell us a little bit, if you can, about the car we're just about to drive now. Not a problem. Well, first of all, welcome to Khan. Thanks very much, Paul. Cheers. It really is excellent to see you. What we've got here is a um, burnished orange Jeep. It's, uh, I think it's the two-door model, it really is. And this is going to be the model that we want you to take out and have a test drive okay. on. What we've done is we've put some smoked indicators, it's got some low running lights, beautiful designed 20-inch wheels. Mm -hmm. And um, as we go through the, the car, we've got some certain um, brandings that you'll see on here, little details. Um, and really, ultimately, what we're hoping that you'll find by the time you get back is that it's actually an experience of driving this vehicle sure. that, that really is beyond anything that you've driven, if, you've, if you have driven a sort of a standard Jeep that's yeah. come from Jeep themselves. Right, so we've just got our hands on our first A car design car, and <laughs> this is exciting. This is the Jeep, which they've kitted out with sort of burnt orange paintwork on the outside. It's called the Copper Edition. Um, and what we're going to do now is take it for a little drive around Bradford Road and see what we make of the car. So it does sit nice and high up off the road. That's yeah. one of the main things about this Jeep as well. Yeah, incredibly light steering with something this heavy. It's very comfortable that you're sitting in the seats and you can really sit into them. The seats have been taken out and then redone in Acon design trim and stitching. Um, and it gives it that exclusive feel. I mean, to be honest, in general, I'm not a massive sort of Jeep fan, but driving this, I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised that this is as refined as it is. I thought it would be quite brutish and quite tough. It's mostly an outside visual car, so you're seeing this and with the LED strips at the front, and you're thinking, if that's in your rear view mirror, get the head out of the way. Right? <laughs> you don't want to be messing around with someone that's in this. 